A bullet 10 gram leaves the barrel of a gun with a velocity of 600 meter per second. If the barrel of the gun is 50 centimeter long and mass of the gun is 3 kilogram, then value of impulse supplied to the gun will be. Okay, so first let us write down the, the given statements. So we have mass. So we have mass of the gun, which is given to us as 3 kilogram, right? So mass of the gun is 3 kilogram. And then we have mass of the bullet, which is given to 10 kilogram, uh, sorry, 10 gram, which we'll take it as 10 into 1 gram, which is 1 gram, 10 to the power minus 3 kilogram. Therefore, we have 10 to the power minus 2 kilogram. Now, velocity of the bullet is given 600 meter per second. So we take VB is equal to 600 meter per second. Now, why have we taken MG, MB, and VB? Okay, before that, I hope the um, I hope this given data is clear to you. Now what we'll do is we'll try to understand what the question demands. This is what the question actually says, that we have a gun. So this, this whole system actually, this whole diagram represents the gun and the bullet, uh, bullet being represented by the red one here. So we have the gun and the bullet as a system, right? Bullet plus gun is a system here. So we have this complete system before firing and after firing. Now see, before firing, we have a gun and a bullet. After firing, the bullet leaves the gun, but still we consider this to be the one complete system. Now, since bullet and gun are the system, we can say that the net external force, let me just write it down one more time. The net external force acting on this system is zero. Why is it zero? Because the bullet is moving due to the chemical reaction that is taking place due to the energy obtained from the chemical reaction taking place inside the bullet so it is not that nobody you know someone from the outside is forcing this bullet no well actually yes we are triggering the we are triggering the gun but it, it, it you know that's not the point the point is that whatever caused this bullet to move it's actually is taking place due to the due to the gun here right so the bullet and the gun when considered as a system the total net external force acting on it is zero and if total net external force acting on it is zero then we can say that delta p is equal to zero the change in momentum write down that also therefore we can say that the change in momentum is also the change in momentum is also equal to zero now when change in momentum is equal to zero we can say that p is a constant why say if we say that d by dx of p is equal to zero it simply means that p is a it means that p is a constant and if p is a constant we can say that if p is a constant we can further say that p initial is equal to p final and now this initial momentum will have components of both gun as well as the bullet final momentum will also have components of the bullet gun and the bullet okay now let's write down this equation so this is the initial condition <laughs> for clarity let us write down this also so this is the initial condition and this is the final condition right Okay, now PI is equal to PF. Now PI will have two components, one for the gun and the other for the bullet. So this component here represents the conservation of momentum for gun and this one represents the conservation for bullet. Again, the same logic. We have this for the gun and this for the bullet. Okay, so initially initially the gun is at rest so we can say that ug initial velocity of gun is equal to zero and initial velocity of bullets is also equal to zero now mass of bullet is known initial velocity of bullet is equal to zero mass of gun is known initial velocity of gun is also equal to zero so ug is equal to zero here ub is also equal to zero and therefore we can say that this complete initial term is actually ruled out and it's zero so this is equal to mg into vg plus mb into vb now since this complete term is equal to zero we can transpose this mb vb to the lhs and therefore we have minus vg so if i have to write one more step this will actually look like this minus mb vb right is equal to mg into vg and therefore what is mg vg therefore we can say that mg vg is minus mb vb sorry minus mb vb the whole divided by the whole divided by mg is equal to vg i just written it you know 
मोर ऑर्गेनाइज माना गया सो वी है माइनस वी जी इज इक्वल टू एम बी बाय एम जी इन टू वी बी ओके नाउ दिस माइनस वी जी इज एक्चुअली वॉट वी कॉल एज द कॉल एज द वॉट कॉल एज द एक्सैक्टली कॉल एज द द रिकॉयल वेलासिटी ऑफ द गन राइट सो दिस इज वॉट वी कॉल एज द रिकॉयल वेलासिटी ऑफ द गन ओके नाउ therefore we can say that minus pg is equal to what is mb we wrote it earlier that mg is mb is mass of the bullet which is 10 into minus 2 kg mg is mass of the gun which is 3 kg and then velocity is 600 meter per second now as usual we just we will put the constants together so we'll put all the constants together so 10 to the power minus 2 3 and 6 are constants so we just put all those together and what will be the unit see kilogram by kilogram will okay now since we in objective class exam there is no point in talking this but still, you know just to, just to make sure that the concept is clear so 10 to the power minus 2 these two will cancel 6 by 3 is 2 and therefore we get minus v is equal to 2 or therefore we can say that recoil velocity of the gun here is actually 2 meter per second okay now coming to the final part now by impulse momentum theorem we have that impulse is equal to change in momentum what now which component are we talking about this impulse can be for both gun as well as for the as well as for the bullet so it can be for the gun and the bullet as well but we are talking here about specifically about impulse of the gun so impulse of the gun is equal to change in momentum so impulse of the gun is equal to change in momentum of the gun change in momentum of the gun is equal to mass of gun so in my bad here mass of gun into Initial velocity of final velocity of gun minus initial velocity of gun. Mass of the gun is three kilogram. Final velocity of the gun we just determine to be two meter per second, and therefore we have three into three into my bad three into two meter per second into kilograms. Okay, so I've written that here. So this becomes three into two is six kilogram meter per. second now uh, those who have the complete question you may find uh, a different unit there right so uh, let me just explain you that part also so, so if, if i multiply if i multiply this here say if i multiply this by second and divide by second i can write this further as is equal to 6 kilogram meter per second square into second right now what is kilogram meter per second square kilogram meter per second square is nothing but 1 kilogram so this is actually 1 kilogram per 1 meter per second square is nothing but the unit of 1 newton so this is 1 newton into second and therefore we have 6 newton second as the option